All right, all right. We are getting started. We should have people coming in now. Welcome to the uh, webinar. We're getting started just a little bit, a little bit after the, uh, the start time. Uh, if you guys are seeing our screens, if you're seeing Aaron, uh, if you can hear me right now, uh, please go ahead and drop a message into the chat. Let me know that you can hear us so we know that we're, we're good to get started. All right, all right. If you're hearing us again, go ahead and uh, drop a message into the chat. Uh, and that way we will know that you guys are here. You're ready, that you're ready to, to hear this good information. Looks like we have participants adding up as we speak. Yeah, I see, uh, I see Brenda, I see Heather, I see Linda, I see a Marcel. As you guys, if you guys are hearing us, then, uh, then please make sure to uh, drop a message into the chat. Awesome. Brenda can hear us. That way we at least know that somebody can hear us. <laughs> hey, Brenda. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay, cool. So I, we at least got Brenda. That means that it's at least working. If somebody could hear us, then the, uh, the, the, the technology, the pipes are, are working. Uh, so we're going to be getting started in just a second. It looks like Linda just raised her hand for us, letting us know that, uh, that she is there as well. So awesome. Awesome. We're going to be getting started in just a second, guys. Uh, give, give people just a few more minutes to, uh, to get in uh, while, we're, while we're getting this going. We do have this, uh, do have this recording, uh, so, uh, so you'll be able to check this out after the fact uh, if needed. Um, okay, and uh, I see another Linda. Another Linda is uh, uh, raising her hand. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lower your hand for us. Cool. Okay. Aaron, you ready? Let's go ahead and get started, I think. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, hey, guys, everybody, welcome to, the, uh, welcome to the webinar here. We are going to be talking about a really exciting subject. We're going to be talking about the seven key factors to being a successful real estate agent. Uh, we're going to be talking about what, what we've learned over the years. Now, this is largely, uh, largely Aaron. There's a few, a few points that I've thrown in here, but uh, uh, we're really bringing the heat with, with Aaron's expertise on this one. Uh, but what he's learned over the years that you could steal and use in your business that you can have a successful real estate uh, you know, business. Uh, so uh, like we mentioned, we got, we got Aaron on the, on the line. You should be able to see him his, uh, his, 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 there in his office with his smiling face and that, that majestic beard. Uh, and then we, <laughs> the, the voice and, the, uh, and the, the, the goofy looking smile that you might be seeing in the, uh, in the thing. That's me, that's Zach Hammer with, uh, with Real Estate Growth Hackers. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started and start talking about this great stuff. So uh, a couple of quick housekeeping things. First and foremost, uh, as we're getting into this, we got some really great content for you. I want to make sure that you guys are, are ready and prepared to, to listen, to learn, to get a ton of value out of this information. So go ahead and remove any of the distractions that you might have uh, in front of you, around you. Uh, turn off your phone, clear off your desk, get ready to learn some great information. Uh, you may want to grab a pen, uh, some paper, uh, take some notes, get ready to, uh, to, to learn a ton that's going to help your help your real estate business. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, make sure that you're using the Q&A as opposed to the, uh, the chat itself is, if possible. That way we can make sure that we are, are seeing your questions as they come, as they come in. Uh, you could find that Q&A down at the bottom of the little, uh, the, the, Zoom, uh, you know, the Zoom window. Uh, you should see there's a, there's a section that says Q&A uh, as opposed to the chat itself. So when you ask a question that way, we can make sure we've gotten, the, gotten it covered uh, so that we don't miss anything and we don't have anybody miss out on getting the answers that you're looking for. Uh, and then the final thing, this is probably the most important guys, make sure that you are right now. I, I, I and, and I want, <laughs> I want to make sure that I get some responses on this. I want you guys to commit to actually take action on this. Uh, if you guys are, are, are going to commit with me right now that in the next 30 days, you're going to take at least one idea that you're going to learn from this webinar, one of these keys, you're going to implement it so that you can do some amazing things in your real estate business. I want you to go ahead and raise your hand or drop a message into the chat, letting me know that you guys are committing to this. Awesome. Awesome. I'm seeing, I'm seeing everybody's hands up. Awesome. You guys are committed. You're taking action. Let's go ahead and dive in and, uh, and get started. So here's what we're going to be covering on this webinar. Uh, we're going to talk about who we are. Uh, we're going to talk about where the, uh, the seven keys came from, a little bit of the kind of the, the, the where this stuff uh, comes from. Uh, and then we're going to dive into the keys themselves, uh, which are 
uh, support and mentorship, culture and environment, cutting edge training, varied lead flow, systematic lead follow up, clear trackable accountability, and tech leverage. We're going to dive into those, tell you what those are about, how you can implement them. Uh, and then we're going to wrap up and tell you where you guys can get help if you guys need any help uh, on any of this, any of this stuff. Uh, real quick, a bit about me, just so that you know who I am and, and kind of my involvement here. Uh, my name is Zach Hammer. I'm the founder of Real Estate Growth Hackers. Uh, I've developed strategies that are responsible for over $50 million in closings in the past 24 months. Uh, I've managed hundreds of thousands in ad budgets, and I've worked with several of the top agents across the country, including one, the one and only Mr. Aaron Alessi himself, as, as well as some other great folks, uh, Brett Tanner, uh, Jason Abrams, Brian Grubernick, Kevin Kaufman, Fred Weaver, and a whole lot more. Uh, I don't say any of this stuff to, uh, to impress you guys. I say it to impress upon you uh, that I know at least a, a little bit <laughs> about, about marketing in the real estate world. And that's kind of the role that I play here. Uh, now, let me tell you a little bit more about uh, uh, Aaron himself. So Aaron is the founder of uh, Real Estate Growth, or not Real Estate, sorry, Resolution Realty. Uh, he has 15 years of experience in real estate. Uh, he's ranked in the top five in home sales since uh, 2011. He's formally been recognized as a top listing agent two years running. Uh, he's got over 4,000 home sales under his belt, including equity sales, short sales, and foreclosure sales. Uh, he's one of the top reviewed agents on Zillow, which by itself is, a, uh, is quite an impressive feat with over 200 uh, Zillow testimonials. So he's got, he's got quite a bit of a track record. But, but Aaron, I know, you know, I, honestly, this slide is always hard for people because most people don't, <laughs> don't, don't like, like, I don't know, it makes people feel awkward to, to sort of toot their own horn, right? Uh, so I, I know you have some things that you want to share with people. Go ahead and, 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 and take it from here for a second. Yeah, I'm a pretty humble person if anybody knows me and seeing those, uh, you know, those track records that I have here on that last slide was, uh, it's really great to kind of look back and see what's been going on for the last uh, 15 years. And, you know, I still remember my first day at Key Realty School when I jumped into real estate, not knowing exactly what I was going to do or where I was going to go. And I, I think one of the most important key factors that actually got me to where I am today and, and being able to coach and help and support everybody is, is, is looking at the market conditions, always being proactive and, and thinking about what's going to happen. And, you know, that's really led to me always being on the listing side and then working with buyers and then building my business so that I could figure out, you know, how am I going to move forward? Well, if I'm always moving forward by looking where the market's going to be, I can predict where my business is going to go. But with that being said, I've also failed a lot more than I've succeeded. Um, I've worked through multiple systems, whether it be with the banks on the foreclosures, you know, the traditional sell with the CRMs that we have right now, short sales and asset managers back in the day when the market was tanking and, you know, everybody was scared for their life and running away from their homes. And, uh, you know, today my most important findings are collectively putting all of that together in a suite that I can teach agents and show agents and give them everything that I have from technology, experience, leads, and then working with buyers and sellers. And that's where really my heart is in this much now is because when I first set out in my first couple of years of real estate, I really wanted truly, my goal was to own a real estate brokerage and work with other team members and grow their business. And that's really where I find my true happiness. And this is a very exciting time in my life to be able to do this with everybody on this webinar, new agents coming on board. And, you know, obviously to have you in my corner as a, a coach and mentor that I've been working with for a long time. Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. And, and, and that's exactly what we want to, we want, you know, what we're, what we're going to be sharing today, right? We're going to, we're essentially going to be giving everybody those, those key lessons, those key important things that in your process of, of, of becoming one of the most successful real estate agents in the Las Vegas area, what you've learned in that process that, that you can essentially hand to people what you wish you knew <laughs> when, when you were kind of getting to where you are now, right? So that's, a, that, that's, that's what we're going to cover. Uh, so real quick, we got, we got a promise for you. So our promise to you, we're going to teach you as much as we can in the limited time that we have together. And before we conclude, we promise to show you how to get more help if you need it. If that sounds, if that sounds good to you, if that sounds like a fair promise, go ahead and, uh, and raise your hand or, or drop a, a message into the chat. Uh, so that we can move forward. Awesome. Awesome. 
Okay, cool. Glad to hear you guys are with us. So let's go ahead and dive into the uh, into the content. Let's uh, let's dive into you know the the what everybody came for, right? The uh, the meat and potatoes, the uh, the key factors uh, of a successful real estate business. So again, those those factors are first support and mentorship, second uh, culture and environment, three cutting edge training, four varied lead flow, five systematic lead follow up, six clear trackable accountability, and seven tech leverage. So that's what we're going to be covering right now. We're going to go through each of those one by one uh, and dive in. There we go. All right. So the first factor that we're going to dive into, we're going to talk about support and mentorship. So Aaron, let's go ahead and dive in. So, so mentorship as a concept, what, why, you know, what is that about? How is that important for a successful real estate business? I think the biggest misconception is uh, everybody who comes into real estate thinks that maybe the broker the owner or a team leader are going to be their mentor, mentor for their real estate business. And I don't think that's necessarily true. I think that they should be the support tools. They should help you. They should train you. They should share experience with you. But a mentor doesn't necessarily have to be in real estate. And I learned that very early that my mentor was in real estate, was in Wall Street, was in house flipping, was into a lot of other organizations that I thought was very promising for me to learn and train from. And it wasn't all real estate. And I, I advise everybody to find a mentor that somebody that they look up to that can be in real estate or can just be a person that can really help you guys just be the best person you can be. Because if you can be the best person and you can put in the effort, you can learn the business through the coaches and the support and everybody else at Resolution Realty. But it first starts with, you know, having somebody to guide you through life challenges and then the real estate challenges and then be there for you. So I, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so essentially it's about having those people who are in your corner who can help take you to that next level to help, to help make sure that, you know, it's not, it's not just about the specifics of the real estate world, but there's also the, the elements of just uh, having somebody in your corner uh, who can help help you through the you know through the mental hurdles and through the process that that you may be looking at? Absolutely, and your mentor can be around for your entire life. I still work with my mentor, who's been around for twenty years. I continue to uh, discuss all kinds of topics that are in my life, and I believe that I could be a mentor to many of you agents that you know are on this webinar and trying to learn more. And I can do one-on-one -on -one mentorship, and we could do mentorship at the office and as a collective uh, body as well. Awesome. Awesome. So, so the next, the, the next part of the support and mentorship is, is the support element. So what, what is that about? What, what do agents need when it comes to support in order to have a successful real estate business? Well, the business is always changing. Your experience levels are always changing and you need support. You need somebody to answer questions. And we kind of pride ourselves on being able to support an agent 24 seven, whether it's on a contract, working with the buyer, working with the seller, how to market, how to go through the lead gen systems, how to build their business and, and having access to support from a broker, a sales manager, an owner, a coach like yourself, Zach, and having these people around you as a family that just really care about you and where you're going. I think that's truly the support that people are often looking for at a real estate brokerage. And, and that's what we really, uh, you know, pride ourselves on as well. Yeah. And so, I mean, it, it's, it really is. It's, it's, it's about that, the, the reality of, you know, th this real estate game, this real estate business is, is a big undertaking that you are, you are absolutely going to run into situations, into questions that you, you don't know how to deal with right now. You don't know how to handle, you don't know how to process. And so, yeah, that support is about having those places you can turn to, to get the answers that you need from, from experienced professionals and experts who are experts in their field, right? Uh, agreed. And I, and I don't think that there's any just one support tool that you can always lean on. I think that, you know, having lender support, escrow support, legal support, broker support. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And, and you know, people new into real estate do haven't went through, you know, 10, 30, 100 transactions every single escrow is different and every single buyer and seller is different. And you're going to run into a ton of challenges and you're going to need, you know, people to guide you through those, you know, tough 
tough times and get you know to the finish line where ultimately you're working for a commission check we're in this for money we're in this you know to obviously have a good career in business so you need to have more than just one support system and and we like to offer all those tentacles to the agents awesome awesome yeah and and then the final aspect of this support and mentorship concept is is this is this idea of camaraderie so what, what is that all about well, that, that's my favorite. Um, you know, there's, there's agents at the office now and a lot of them on the line right now and people working through our technology and, and nothing makes me happier than when we grind our butts off and we're working extremely hard and we're prospecting and somebody gets to leave and somebody gets and goes home and they an offer and put somebody under contract. And we all talk about it. We all talk about how that happened. Where'd you get the lead from? How are you working with those clients? And then we try to share information. And as we're doing our training and we're doing our, you know, coaching calls and stuff, people are coming in with these great questions and they're saying, Hey, how can I improve my strategy? What's the best approach on this marketing? I have a new construction idea. I want to get out and start marketing to buyers to buy new construction because the market's turning that way in the resale uh, market is not. And then having the ability to, you know, turn around 30 days later and, and just celebrate as a team and the holidays are coming up and, and just really have that, that family. That's, that's the goal with me. That's, that's why I have the systems and, and the training we have set up and we have such great agents on the team. And I'm just very thankful that we can, we can do what we're doing tonight. And we're here right now online trying to do this six o'clock on a Thursday, we want to, we want to share this information with everybody to let you know that, you know, I really care and I really want to help. And, and that's kind of the camaraderie that we've chosen to build at Resolution Realty for our culture. Yeah, absolutely. And cause I mean, it is, it's so important. There's so much, uh, you know, in, in terms of moving forward, achieving your goals, where there's, there's the elements of having the people who, who are ahead of you. There, there are elements of having the people who, uh, just for whatever reason are able to, to help you. Those are, those are the mentors, uh, you know, the, the people who can answer your questions, but, but so important is that element of the people who you're in the battle together. You're, you're, you're moving the, that process forward together. You're fighting those battles together. And there's so much that's just learned in that process of being in and amongst uh, other people who are on that same journey that you are. So it's such a, it's such a, a powerful thing that you, you know, that, 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 that you know, you, you recognize that and you can see that, uh, as, as part of what's important uh, for a successful real estate business. So moving forward, the next key factor that we want to talk about is culture and environment. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into that. So, so one of the key aspects of a good culture is that it's, it's active, alive, and energetic. What, what, is, what exactly does that mean? Why is that important? Well, everybody likes to come into an energetic office. Everybody likes to talk to their peers and, and go over what they're learning and what their challenges are in the real estate business. And then as that happens, it, it, you almost see like how everybody begins to put a smile on their face to know that, you know, they're going through the same challenges other people are. They're not alone in the world. They can sit down, talk to you. And, th and then it becomes to have that, that energy around the office or that energy out in the field when you're shadowing somebody and say, oh, wow, you know, I've talked about this with Aaron, but now I see it, for, you know, live in the streets and then bringing that energy back to the office and, and having that in the training and sitting down and talking or asking questions in a webinar like this, that is alive. That's active energy that's, you know, moving around all the time. And you got to do that in, in, in how you approach your business and what you put out in the world. Because if you come in with a frown or you're negative or you're not trying to be positive around your friends and family and peers, all that's going to come back to you. You don't want that negativity in your life. You want to always come in with good, positive energy. And I can just see how one person plays off of another. And, you know, when we're having high fives and ringing the bell or, you know, just there's that aha moment where, you know, something you've been working so hard on with the training comes together and then you see that big scope. And, and, and that's always going to be changing and always going to be evolving and that's what we're building here and we got a great group of people and we want more people to come in and we want to continue to share and build and make this one of the best independent brokerages in town which is is a goal for myself but should also be a goal for the you know the agents that are part of our family as well awesome awesome yeah absolutely because i mean it's 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 so important uh, the the energy of the areas where you are the people that you surround yourself with they 
they make such a big impact on how, on how you feel and how, and how you navigate through life. So it's important to, uh, to pay attention to what those, what those environments and those areas uh, feel like in, 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 you know, wherever, wherever you are, wherever you're working, wherever you're surrounding yourself with people. So, you know, another key aspect of a, of a great culture uh, is, is that it's fun. So uh, why, why is that such an important thing? I mean, it, it, you know, a, a lot of people may not think about the fact that, uh, um, that this, that this is, this is not only just important, uh, you know, just cause it's enjoyable. It's, it's actually important for a successful real estate business, right? It, it really is. And, and I don't want to ever feel like when I come into the office, it feels like work. I don't want to ever feel like my career is work. I want to always have a passion for success, but I also want to have fun along the way. And this, this slide couldn't say it any better. You have one life to live, so enjoy it. Um, and I think when you bring that attitude to the playground, you're going to have fun with what you're doing. You're going to be a lot better of an agent because you care. And I think that clients and, and people, you know, other people at the office, including myself and the sales managers and brokers, everybody's going to be involved and have fun if you are. And I, I could never be in such a challenging career if I wasn't have, having fun along the way. So I think that's extremely important. And that's something we want to also continue to do is how can we have more fun along the way in, in, in such a difficult career? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's such an important aspect of this. And then, and then finally, we have this, this concept of, you know, the ability to operate at, at, at your peak performance. So having a good culture is actually part of what impacts this. So can, can, you, can you talk about that a bit? Yeah, I think when we were starting to really look back on the last few years and um, try to take um, this real estate market over at the same time, um, operate at a high level where you feel like you're performing all the time, but not being hindered by the results that are happening. So, and, and the, the reason I say that is, you know, there's, there's always difficult times happening in your real estate career, right? It's tough to wake up, come in the office, prospect, try to go through CRMs, get on the phones, you know, have disgruntled clients, have an escrow cancel, you know, and then turn around and, and still be able to keep your head up. So in order to do that, you got to have a culture and people that can talk to you can help put you in the right direction. And, and that's what I'm focusing on now is saying, hey, it's not easy, but it's okay. And you're gonna run into issues and that's okay. And this is tough, but to stay at a peak performance, you have to show up, you have to put in the effort and you have to lean on the people like myself to carry you through those times where your performance is coming down, your lack of energy is coming down, you don't feel like doing something that day. You got to kick your ass and get back in the trenches and continue to do it. And we've been talking about this in our most recent meetings with the holidays coming up and how people start to take off and their business goes up and down, up and down. We don't want to have a business like that. We want to have a culture that keeps everybody in the trenches, trains, and has fun. And I think that will help your long-term goals so you're not struggling with your business going up and down like that. Because that roller coaster motion of your business like that, where you don't know where your next paycheck's coming from, or you close three deals and then you don't get another one for five more months, we want to avoid that. And I think this, is, this webinar is going to kind of you know, dive into the details on how to do that exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and yeah, I mean, it's such, it's such a big key. Like if you, if you're in a, if you, if you're in a culture, if you're surrounded by people that, that, that drag you down, that, that, you know, it, real estate is hard enough on its own, right? Like there, there's, there's, there's a lot of rejection. There's a lot of, there's a lot of negativity that you're ultimately going to deal with regardless. It's just the nature of the game. But if you if the culture of the place where you work also brings you down, your chances of success are just so so much harder. It's like, it, it, it's like trying to get through, you know, uh, an already difficult, you know, an already difficult race with a, with a weight around your ankles. Right. And so the culture being a place where you enjoy, where it's alive and energetic, where people are, are, are active, engaged, and you're having fun is part of what actually helps you to continue to operate at peak performance, so that your culture and environment are not the thing that's holding you back.
Yeah, so, yeah unless you're trying to put weights on your, your legs and, and build your calf muscles, you want to work <laughs> with, you know, like-minded people that, you know, right. share that same, same uh, you know, uh, same goals and paths so they keep everybody on the same point. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it, it, make, it makes such a big difference for the, the, for the results that you're actually able to achieve. So let's, let's go ahead and dive into the next one. So the next, the next uh, key factor here we, it, we have is, is cutting edge training. So let's dive into what that means. So, so first, uh, we have the concept of learn from active experts. And so we've got, we've got a little image here of, a, of an owl. Uh, owls are known for, for uh, uh, the concept of being wise, right? So they, 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 they operate, operate from a point of wisdom, from a point of knowledge. So, so what, what, does that, what does that mean um, you know, it, it, in terms of cutting edge training and why training is important? Well, I, I think for me and um, my last 15 years, I've, I've fell on my face a lot. I've spent tons of money. I've worked through uh, challenges that I never thought I, I would see in my real estate career. And a lot of it was because things with technology moves so quickly. The market in Las Vegas moves so fast. There's not another market you know, in the nation that works like ours does. And it, it's, very, it's very difficult to keep up with all that stuff if you don't have the experience, you don't have the, the mentors and the brokers and the support. And you know, what we're trying to do now is basically take all of this experience, all the technology, roll it all into a suite to help the agents move forward faster without having to go through all the hurdles that we went through all the issues that we went through, all the money challenges, you know, with, with marketing and where to spend money or, you know, talking to a Zillow or realtor.com and doing Facebook. I've worked through every single possible angle. So at the end of the day, I am 100% confident that I know what works and what doesn't work to save everybody time, money, and energy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because I mean, it's so key, right? Like, uh, to, to learn from the people who are actively doing it, who are, who are experts in their own fields, um, the people who, who know how to work with, with, with those buyer issues, who know how to work with those listing issues, who, who have the broker experience, maybe the, the legal side of things. So when you, when, you, when you need to learn those processes and get up to speed on, on, those, concept, on, on those concepts, learning from the people who, who know, you know not only what's working now, uh, but also what, what, what just sort of always works. Cause there's always going to be like fundamentals that'll, that'll stand the test of time. Uh, but at the same time, things are constantly changing, which, which actually brings us to the, uh, uh, you know, to the next point really, really, you know, well, which is essentially exactly that idea, right? So change is the, is the only constant in, in, in any of these things. So, uh, you know, what, what does that mean in terms of, in terms of change or uh, in terms of training uh, particularly? Why, why, why is training so important when, when change is so prevalent? Well, as an acting owner who's always in the market and still leveraging technology and leveraging the market conditions and working with, um, you know, what's going to happen next, you know, I'm afforded the opportunity to work with, you know, some of the other top agents in town. And since everything's always changing and accelerating and moving forward, you know, it's not just coming from me. It's not just coming from you. I have a lot of people in the industry that I talk to on a daily basis that you know talk that give me information that they're working on i give them information that i'm working on we share what's going on in the real estate market and we continue to stay at the top of our game and, and at the top of the agent list for a reason because we share this information to stay ahead of always of the always changing market out here so if right. we're constantly doing that and we're sharing that information with our agents it's going to trickle into their business immediately so that they're not two, three, four steps behind on something that's so rapidly going in a different direction every time we turn around. And right. just from two years ago with iBuyers and hedge funds coming in, your open doors, your Zillow offer pads, all these investors, you know, coming into the market and buying properties that never hit the market is, you know, it's taking uh, money out of our pocket, taking buyers and the sellers away from us. So you, we got to learn how to embrace it. Well, if you know how to embrace those I buyers and you know how to create investor pipelines and stuff like that, you can get ahead of that change so that you're not just left in the dust without having any business because there's ways around it. And you can navigate through any of these market conditions. You just have to have the right people 
and the right mentors and the support to kind of show you through how these things change. And now we're black belts at it. As soon as the market changes, we already know what's going to happen. We know what the next best thing is. And we're not going to have anybody, you know, kind of swindle us on technology or leads or, you know, buying into, <clears throat> excuse me, anything new that's coming up because we know who's telling us BS or not. And I want to make sure that all the agents understand that too, because you're going to hear a lot of stuff from, you know, people, you're going to see things on the news. And I, I, I want to make sure even from other agents in the industry that don't know what they're talking about, I, I, can, I can feed you that information so that you're confident you're making the right choices when you're building your career up. Yeah, absolutely. Because I, I, it, it's, it's, so, it's so key. Like, you, know, you, you gave a couple examples of, of, of Open Door and OfferPad and, and you know, Zillow uh, you know, moving into the, the space where they're buying listings and uh, Amazon's making moves in that, in that route too, right? Like there, there's tons of things going on, but, but that's, that's just what's going on right now. Right. The, the reality is you, you look at the same thing five years ago. The market was a completely different place. You look at five years before that, it was a completely different place. And, and so the, the reality is everything's changing. The technology is constantly changing. The, the regulations are constantly changing. Uh, market perception, what people want, what people expect is just always in flux. And so you got to you got to have a commitment to to, you know, be a constant student and to find those people who can kind of keep you up to pace on on what's working now on what you know what you need to do to to stay prepared so that those changes don't uh, don't you know catch you by surprise awesome so and and, and that actually you know i know it's going to lead us into uh, one of the concepts that we're going to talk about here so the next key factor though uh, that's important to have a successful real estate business is varied lead flow so let's go ahead and uh and dive into that so uh uh real quick let me just double check i see a question ways around i buyers can we advertise Okay, cool. We're, uh, Linda just let you know, we are going to have a, a, a question and answer uh, time at the end. Um, and, and we'll dive into all of these questions uh, at, at that time. Um, but for now, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue through this. I, I don't think there was any uh, confusion on what we've had so far. So we'll continue on this and we'll get to your question uh, when, we, when we have that Q&A time. Uh, so for varied lead flow, uh, the, the concept here is that one is the most dangerous number when it comes to almost anything uh, in your business. Hey, Aaron, you want to, you want to riff on that a little bit and, uh, and talk about why that's important. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. So we just came off of rapidly changing markets and rapidly changing ways to do business and, and, and technology changing. What I can tell you is not changing is the basic principles of real estate, which is meet, meeting and greeting buyers and sellers, you know, prospecting. Man marketing, buying leads, creating leads, using Facebook, using ways to generate business by doing open houses and making contacts and building farms and getting into your community and talking to your sphere of influence. All of those factors will never change under any circumstances as, as, as we're alive because it, it's always those principles that are going to lead you into the right way to build your business. Now, everything else might be changing, but if you can keep those concepts alive, and you can focus on those and then utilize maybe the different dynamics that are going on with the technology, that'll keep you ahead of the game. It'll make you a black belt, but don't forget, you know, there's all these other sources of business that are cheap and you don't need to spend a ton of money on. You just need to know the principles, how to apply those, and then use your technology to leverage that and I, I think that's the best way to kind of go about saying, hey, it's okay. Um, not everybody needs money. This is, and don't focus on just one thing. And I know, Zach, you're going to pick it up right there and say, yeah, nobody should just work on just Facebook leads and think that's going to be the end all, end all exactly. be all because Facebook could be gone tomorrow. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, just like we were just talking about, right? So the, uh, the, the, only, the only constant is change. So what, what works today uh, there's always going to be the foundational principles that work, right? Like, like, you know, helping, helping consumers with their real estate needs. That's, that is going to be, you know, the foundational thing, what that help looks like, how you attract those people, how you interact with those people. Uh, there, there's honestly, there's almost any part of it that is fair game for being disrupted and, and being changed. Uh, and, and so if, if you, if you rely, for instance, exclusively on referrals, well, depending on how good your system is set up, 
some of those referrals that have traditionally gone to agents are now going to the open doors and going to the Amazons and going to the Zillows because the average agent isn't doing a good job following up. So, you know, if you're, if you're not, if you're not sort of casting a little bit of a wider net, making sure that you, that you have different sources of business, uh, you know, the, the changes in the market, the changes in regulations and technology can potentially take away things that you've relied on. Uh, so having multiple, you know, you know, streams of business, multiple uh, lead flows uh, allows you to make sure that you that you're setting up a business that is strong, that's that's anti fragile and, and is is going to stand the test of time as it changes. Uh, so continuing on, uh, th this is another really important, uh, you know, important principle that I think a lot of people miss out on. And, and I know you find really important too, Aaron. Uh, so I, I've got you know, we've got a picture here of the. Uh, of the rabbit, what I really wanted is I wanted to find a, a, an icon of the tortoise because this is the metaphor of, of what people I think need to understand is real estate as, as a business, real estate as a game, you know, in the, in the analogy of the tortoise or the hare, you gotta be the tortoise. You gotta be the slow and steady. You gotta be able to do it consistently. So can you talk a little bit more about, uh, about what that means and why that's important? I, I think that's the number one reason why people fail or they just don't do good. And right. You know, somebody's going to say, okay, hey, Aaron, what's the, you know, I got a few concepts I, I, I wanted, I want to use and I want to do. And I go, great, you know, here's how you got to build it out. You know, here's the key points and principles of what you want to do. And they try for two months, they get no results and they go, ah, you know, I didn't like that. And go, okay. Uh, oh, I got this new idea. I want to do this. Okay, this is how you would do it. And then they do that for two months and don't get any results and so on. No, there's so many people that just are not consistent. I think- right. You know, that, that's the biggest problem. I think consistency is the, is the key. Um, I don't want everybody, if there's six different ways to generate business and build a business, it doesn't mean you need to do all six of those, but you would want to at least grab the three that you're passionate about and right. you want to immerse yourself in it. You want to be the best in those three and then you start those and you continue to build on them month over month over month. But if you're not getting instant results, that's okay. Don't stop doing it. You have to right. do that every single day, every week of every month for the entire year. And then you will, re you will see the fruits of your labor after that year. And, and that's the most uh, crucial time frame, especially for new agents coming out of school or even agents that have been in the business for a year or two that just simply aren't producing, spending a lot of money and not getting anywhere. It's because they just give up so quickly and you, and you can't. You got to right. just immerse yourself and be the best in a few key areas and then build that out and then move on to the next three after that. Then you're a top agent. Then you have all these systems built out. You have business coming in. You leverage that business and you continue building. I have 337 reviews on Zillow. Those are all past clients who sold a home with me. Do you think I got a really great past client close campaign? Absolutely. But that's only one of 10 other things that I do on a consistent basis. So I always have 300 homes being sold every, every year. And that hasn't changed for me in a long right. time. And it won't because I've, I've went through the painstaking time it takes to build out and leverage these and do it on a consistent matter, regardless if I'm making money or not. That's not my, that's not why I'm doing this. I love business and I love building business. And once you do it consistently for a long time, you will be rewarded from your efforts. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I think one of the keys here, so, it, you know, knowing that the, that the game is a long-term game, right? The only way that you end up having success in real estate is by, is by doing something and sticking to it. Uh, part of the reason why varied lead flow, why varied, uh, you know, marketing channels and, and having at your disposal multiple different ways that you can potentially build your business is because there are going to be some things that you will not be able to do for six months. They're going to be the kinds of things that you just hate with such a passion that you could never bring yourself to do it day after day after day. So you want to have enough things in front of you that you could say, these are the few things that I can, uh, you know, it, it, admitting and knowing that it's going to take me a while. These are the things that I know that I can do day after day, even if I'm not getting immediate results. Like that's the key. You, you, you know, if, if you're the kind of person who, uh, who just absolutely, you know, hates going out and door knocking and for whatever reason you get out and your energy is just horrible. You feel drained, you feel low, you feel bad after doing that. 
maybe door knocking is not for you. So you go to the next method. You look for the thing where, where you're like, you know what? I, I may not have gotten a deal out of this, but I felt good doing it. I felt like I felt good going through this process. It's something that, that jives with, with who I am. That, so that, that's why it's so key to have you know, multiple different ways in front of you, multiple different options to select from uh, to be able to say, what is a good fit for me? In, in that, I can do this for the next six months, even if I don't get an immediate deal even if it doesn't pay off immediately, because that, that's the key. That's going to that's gonna be what makes it make sense and work for you. Uh, it, I think one key thing that really is worth noting in here, uh, we have this in the text. There is no secret, you know, there is no silver bullet, right? There isn't one, one special secret answer. There isn't one marketing tactic that's going to make everything work for you. The answer is embracing the consistency, embracing the long term and finding those things that you can do that way, right? Exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so I'll go ahead and, and dive through this section real quick, um, uh, just so that you guys can understand this. So this is, this is some tactical information in terms of how you can potentially vary your lead sources. Uh, you know, we, we talked about toward the beginning of this, uh, you know, Aaron has mentioned, it's kind of important that you bring, you bring in experts, you bring in mentors who, uh, who know their, their subject matter. This happens to be my expertise and my subject matter. So I'm going to go through these, these things with you real quick. Um, so in terms of how you can potentially vary, vary your lead sources, uh, you can vary by your target market or niche. So that's going to be uh, psychographics, demographics, geographics. So psychographics, these are, these are the things that make up somebody's like, uh, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, who they are like so, sociologically, what, who they are as a person, what are they interested in? What do they like? What do they not like? Those kinds of things. As an example, uh, first time home buyers would be like a psychographic, right? It would be a, a type of person, uh, somebody who is, uh, you know, potentially needing to downsize their home, uh, you know, uh, maybe the, the, the older generations as they start moving from, uh, you know, having the empty nester syndrome and, and, and needing to, to change their lifestyle. So you can, you can have various different markets and niches that way. That's psychographics. Demographics are similar. Uh, demographics are going to be, uh, you know, age ranges. Uh, they're going to be um, uh, th those kinds of concepts, uh, psychographics and demographics are very similar. Um, geographics. So you can focus on a specific area. You can help people that, that are in, in a, in a farm, in a niche, in a, in a sub community, uh, because those people are going to have specific needs. Uh, and, and by, by leveraging multiple different channels this way, you can, you can have varied lead sources based on, you know, different areas, uh, as well as those different, uh, you know, personality traits. Uh, you could also vary by the media itself. So the, the, the ways that you're doing your marketing, you know, where, like where, we, where you can have both dialing and texting and email and messenger. And again, you don't have to do all these things. These are just different ways that you can go after these different markets so that if any one of these stops, stops being as, as successful as, or as useful, you have something else as, a, as something to fall back on, okay? So, you know, Google PPC versus SEO and banner ads. These are all different ways that you can vary uh, you, you know, how you're generating your leads. You can also vary your lead sources by your offer itself. Uh, so you can have offers like, uh, you know, a list of coming soons. You can offer people home values. You can offer people uh, neighborhood info, open houses, down payment assistance, downsizing help, uh, smart home information, solar, et cetera. So there's, there's almost an infinite number of ways that you can, that you can customize that. And, and, and part of why this is so important, guys, um, I, I, I recently did a, did a video and I'm, I'll just tell you about it real quick. Uh, the, they just made an, an update to the, to the operating system on the iPhone uh, where there is now a setting built into, the, into Apple's iPhones where people can automatically silence calls from unexpected callers. Now, what that tells me... <laughs> that, that's helpful for all those robocalls I get every day. Exactly, exactly. I, and what that tells me is, is you got to, you know, again, going back to the, the concept of, of paying attention to where the market's going, it, it's very possible that we're moving into a scenario where, where you know, phone prospecting, it's, it's not going to go away. It's always going to be useful and it's always going to be worthwhile. But how effective it is and how you need to do it might be changing as technology changes to kind of adapt with it, right? And so this is part of why it's so important to vary your lead sources because some of these, some of these channels, their effectiveness can change overnight, right? Like, you know, a Apple released that update. Right now, that setting isn't on by default, but it's there and it's available. And you got to ask yourself, where, you know, what, what is the market moving toward? You know, Aaron, you just mentioned those robocallers, right? Uh, it's, it's very possible that some of the real estate calling will, will, will be, will be lumped into that, into that world. And so you, you, you better know that you need to have strategies to 
to make sure you're doing what's working. You're making sure to, to, to stay up to date on that and having some of these varied lead, lead sources uh, so that, you know, so that your, your business doesn't, uh, doesn't fall apart overnight. Uh, does that make sense, guys? If that, if that concept makes sense, even at just at a high level. Yeah, okay, cool. We're, we're getting hands raised. It, it, it's a bit in the weeds, so I just wanted to make sure before we move forward on that. <laughs> All right, awesome. So the, the next factor that we're going to talk about is systematic lead follow-up. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Um, so, so Aaron, we probably don't need to dive into this too much because uh, we, we just talked about this a little bit in the consistency. Uh, but essentially, real estate is a, is a long-term game, right? So what are, some of the, uh, what are some of the key ideas that people should know about that? Well, it's just that, that the same, same thing we were kind of talking about earlier, immediate results. It, it's, they're very hard to come by unless you go to an open house, have somebody write an offer, or go down the street and sell a house. And you can get immediate results but just wake up every day thinking that's going to happen and it's, it's just a long game plan like you said and you know if you get a facebook lead an internet lead a zillow lead or maybe you're just cultivating some of your open house leads and you have them in your database you have to have a follow-up process you have right. to stay committed to how you're going to touch these people and what you're going to say and obviously the offering is how can i help you how can right. i be the professional that knows what's going on in the market how can I help a buyer or seller figure out what's going on in their own lives to give them the education to work with me? So, you know, you can kind of keep going into multiple ways on how to do this, but it does take a long time to convert leads and people and, and leads are people, right? So the average lead incubation period is six months. Um, I've heard it's, you know, I've been reading some articles where they're saying that six months is turning into eight months. And you just have to have a big enough database that that doesn't matter. I don't care when this lead converts is because I got all these other people in my database that were converting from six months ago or converting for me now. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and it's, it's important to understand that in just about every marketing method that you have going on, the, the average lead in incubation period is six months. That's the average, which means some people are, are, are longer than that. Right. And, and if, if you really want to, be able to make your, your, making your, make your marketing efforts convert. You have to be ready to play that long game. You have to be able to do uh, follow-up in a way that, that works well uh, to connect with those people. Uh, and part of the reason why this is happening, by the way, just market trends that you guys should be aware of, uh, the, the existence of tools like, like Zillow, the existence of these things in the market, are the average consumer today is, is coming armed with drastically more information and drastically more uh, more at their disposal than they historically used to. So they're starting their journey uh, earlier than they did before. Before they end up with a real estate agent, they're starting their journey uh, long before that, uh, which is part of why these leads are, are, you know, take so long to incubate because they're, they're sort of dabbling in the process from the beginning, which is great for you because that means that you, that you can, you know, go toward the front end of that process and, uh, and start capturing this, you know, this interest in these, these interested leads as long as you're ready uh, you know, to work with them over the long run. And let me tell you, if you're not, you're going to lose out to anyone who is because they are going to work with the agent who has been most helpful, you know, to them over that long period of time. So you got to be ready to play that long game. So the, the you know, the, this actually plays right in. Uh, Patrick just asked a, a, a question of, uh, you know, when, when question period comes up, he says, I'm interested in defining how to set up automated versus manual follow-up. Uh, I think a good system must have both uh, both ingredients. And, and, and you're exactly right, Patrick. This is, this is kind of the point here. So uh, Aaron, we, we, you want, do you want to dive in or do you want me to take this one in terms of, of you know, how people should be leveraging tech to help in this, in this follow-up process? Well, I, I think uh, I'll let you take it. And it, it's because I know exactly how our systems are built that me and you have went through over the years and how important it is to engage on both sides of those fence. So go for it, my friend. Awesome. Yeah. So I'll, I'll go ahead and take this, these next two points here. So uh, yeah, essentially you, you want to leverage tech uh, in order to help you with your lead follow-up process, right? Um, as these disruptors move into the market, as more, as more money, as more uh, technology continues to impact the market, you, you have to up your game and you have to up your, your skill set in terms of follow-up uh, in, in, in order to stay in front of these people. So, so you leverage tech as a way to amplify your efforts. You leverage tech as a way to automate the portions that you can automate, uh, without trying to, uh, uh, automate, you know, too much, right? So it, that's, that's the key, key idea here is you want the, the tech to help you, but it's very important, uh, that you, that you work, uh, work with tech in a way where you're not expecting it to do everything, 
you're expecting it to help you find the people who, who you can have more conversations with. Um, further, one of the key things that you need to have here, so is, is whatever it looks like, whether it's a combination of technology or manual processes, you need to have a system, you need to have a plan, you need to have a process where you know how you can take somebody through a process where they start, you know, where they don't know you, and then you take them to knowing you, to liking you, to trusting you, until they ultimately try working with you, they ultimately buy, you know, or sell, uh, you know, they, they repeat and they refer. So in real estate, it actually ends up kind of the other way around. Uh, the, the, the process uh, is long enough uh, that, uh, that generally what they'll do is they will refer before they repeat. Um, but if you build up your, uh, uh, you know, your, your, your systems, then you get that. You get, you get those clients that you get to work with again. Um, I, I, you know, I forget what it is. I think uh, you know, NAR has a stat that says like, it's something like 80% of people say that they would gladly work with their real estate agent again. Only 10% of them actually do. And, and the biggest reason for that is real estate agents don't tend to follow up. So you, you build in, you know, systematic lead follow-up, you have processes for that. You want to have a system uh, for how you, how you do that. So, yeah, I, I, and I know we're, we're, we're going over that at a high level. We, uh, Patrick, like, like, like you mentioned here, we will have time for Q and a. So if we, if we need to dive into any of this further, you know, well, we and that, real quick, that's, Zach, why that's yeah. top of mind, like a manual version of a system that you can do is KV core. You set a reminder and then the, the automation exactly. can be, you have a drip campaign going that you built yourself for 12 months that, Obviously, you should know your audience and has good content in there. That's right. one manual and one automated way that you can leverage your technology and put that in your system. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and your process is going to be a combination of both uh, because depending on what you know about a person, uh, there's certain aspects you can automate. There's certain aspects that you really can't. Uh, and, and so, yeah, it's uh, uh, about having a good system uh, in, in order to do that. So, you know, pay attention to that. Um, it's, it's a little bit beyond what we can fully dive into on this call to actually go through the intricacies of that. Um, but in terms of like what you want to take away from this, make sure that you know, um, that, that you're looking for a, that a, a system that is going to help, uh, help amplify your efforts while also paying attention to those, to those one-on-one -on -one processes that you need to do. Uh, so moving on to a, a key factor, number six, uh, the, the concept of, of having a clear, uh, or having clear trackable accountability. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So uh, the, the, the first concept here is the idea that real estate is a simple numbers game. So th there's a fun analogy here uh, that, that I, you know, at least an interesting one. And, and Aaron, I think it'd be great if you could dive into that. Yeah, I think on any level, you should know your numbers um, in your business, regardless if you're spending 100 grand on marketing or you're spending $100, you really got to know what your ROI is and tracking your business could be as simple as tracking your time. I think your time right. is extremely, extremely valuable. And you should know, and, and you can, there's books and articles and stuff you can read to figure out how much you're worth for an hour. For example, if anybody's gonna talk to me or I'm going to do anything, is it worth $250 an hour? Because if it's not, I'm not going to do it. So right. you can track every single number from your calendar to how much time, to how much money you're putting in. And if you're not tracking this stuff, you can't turn around a year later and say, oh, I know the pros and cons to my business now because I've tracked all this and now I know the do's and don'ts for next year. Kind of like an example with our CSU system that we have at the office and why that seems like it's, it's just, you know, something you don't feel like filling out. But if you have the business analytics at the end of the year, knowing your business, you can really start to cultivate how you're going to move forward. And I think it's super important. And a, a lot of agents just don't pay attention to that. Yeah. And I, I think the key here, uh, you know, especially uh, to, to the, to, to the, to the Vegas crew that we got there, right? The reality is if you know your numbers, then you have a business. If you don't know your numbers, you're gambling. That's what you're doing. You, you don't, you don't actually have a business. A business is, you know, a systematic, repeatable processes. And if you don't know your numbers, you don't have that. And what you're doing is you're gambling. Uh, it looks like my, my screen is having a little bit of issues here. Just bear with me for a second, guys. I'm going to get that back up and then we'll, uh, we'll continue on. But yeah, moving, moving through, I'll, I'll, get this, I'll get this going in just a second. But I know uh, one of the next 
one of the next things that we have uh, to talk about when it comes to, um, you know, it comes to knowing your numbers, com comes to this, this accountability is, give me just a second. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what uh, what happened. We'll be back to that in just a second. on 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 the uh, on the subject of uh, of accountability. You guys have any uh, have any questions or or anything that uh, that we could be answering for you in the meantime? What do you think is? I had an agent call me today and said she wants to sign up for the Tom Ferry accountability coaching, and I had my personal two cents on it. What What do you think is? is good and bad about a situation like that for accountability. So, I mean, uh, accountability by itself is, is, is useful regardless. Uh, really what you're, what you're looking for though, is that, is that blend of, of what is it, what does it take for you to, uh, uh, to know what your goals are, to know the help that you need and get that mentorship. I know, I know you actually, uh, what's nice is that you offer a lot of, you know, you offer that a, a lot of that just in the office there, right? Just, it just that, that sort of day-to-day -day goal setting mentorship, uh, those kinds of ideas. Uh, so it, it's, it's a worthwhile, worthwhile program for sure. But you know, you may, uh, whoever asked that you may double check and, and see if that's a, if that, if that kind of help is already available, uh, at the, you know, at, at where you are. And since they asked you, uh, they have it available, right? They have the help available <laughs> with your company there. And, and that was the response. And we actually set up some one-on-one -on -one coaching so she doesn't have to spend, you know, close to $2,500 on, on, you know, a coaching system that quite honestly doesn't apply to her niche in our market. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to help in that manner. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So hopefully, uh, here, let me see. I think I don't have this full screen. Are you guys able to see this again? Yeah. Uh, where it should say measure the right things. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, so, so let, let's talk a little bit about, about this, this concept. So about measuring the right things. Um, so the, the key ideas here are you want to measure your costs and there's a couple of different kinds of costs, uh, but you also want to measure uh, your conversion. So we already, we already talked about this a little bit. Uh, I'll, I'll just give some of these points real quick. We, I think we already covered the, the key ideas here, but uh, essentially you want to look at your processes and you, and you want to sort of track through the funnel, right? You want to, you want to track how readily you're converting your attention into leads. You want to, you want to track how, how many of those leads are turning into contacts. How many of those contacts are turning, turning into conversations, conversations to appointments, appointments to clients, clients to escrows, escrows to closed. And then in the long run, these are some of the things that people rarely track, but should be how many of your closings turn into referrals. How many of those referrals turn into repeat business, right? So that, that, that's kind of the, the, the overview of the funnel of what you need to be tracking. And if you track each of those things as they're happening, then you could see uh, not only what your numbers look like, so you know, you know how to build a repeatable system, uh, but you can also see where you might be able to improve. Uh, and, and that's one of the key things that, that, that makes a difference. Um, so do, you have any, do you have any other, uh, uh, anything else to, to add on, on measuring the right things? I think that's spot on right there. I mean, that block from attention uh, to leads all the way down to repeat business is exactly how you should run your operations. Exactly, exactly. And so in, in and amongst those things, then you track your costs, right? So you, you track uh, how much did it, did it cost for you to get the attention? How much did it cost for you to generate the leads? There are going to be some sources that are really cheap. There are going to be some sources that are expensive. Uh, but what we really care about is for the cost that it took, how did it convert? Uh, and, and there's two different types of costs. There's financial cost and there's time cost, right? So, it, it, and both are worth paying attention to and thinking through. It could be that you have something that costs zero money, but it takes you a ton of your time. And if you, if you, have, uh, if you have a lot of time, that could be a worthwhile trade. If you, if you are lacking in time, but you have more money, then you could start looking at putting your money into the things that, that, that produce the leads rather than the things that take more of your time. So uh, that, these are kind of the elements that, that, that go into this in terms of thinking through what you want to track. And what's, what's awesome is that when you, when you have that mentorship, when you have that support uh, you know, with, with somebody like Aaron, uh, you get that help to be able to pinpoint those things that should be tracked. Uh, and you get to lean on those systems to actually uh, have the systems to, to track the right things. Um, so on, on to the next point though. I think this is a, a really just a useful thing for people to know, uh, which is there's, there's this almost magical thing that happens where when you measure something, it tends to improve just naturally. 
uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's one of the things that, that, I've, that I've heard recommended in terms of uh, even just something simple as weight loss. If, if you want the easiest path to, to start losing weight, for instance, uh, simply weighing yourself every day starts to, you know, build that habit where you could start to see it was like, oh, are my, are my eating habits, are my exercise habits causing the scale to rise? Or are they causing them to lower? And you start adjusting, you start adjusting your behavior subconsciously to improve them. Um, so if, if you want to, if you want an easy hack <laughs> to improve your business, start tracking things. And chances are, even without a clear plan to improve it, they will start to improve just because you start to see what your results look like. So if, if that concept makes sense, it's kind of just a real small, uh, quick takeaway. But if that makes sense, go ahead and raise your hand. Uh, if, if you sort of intuitively understand uh, how, that, how that could potentially help you. Awesome. So yeah, we got, we got a lot of people that get that idea. There's not too much to talk about there. It's just a real simple, quick, uh, <laughs> quick idea. All right, let's go ahead and move on to this. Okay, so th I think this is an important thing. You, know, you mentioned Sisu, uh, Aaron, and, and I, I think it's important you know, for people to understand how, how automating some aspects of the tracking, you know, as much as you can, how, how that can help and why, and why that's important. Well, tracking um, can be something that's very simple or it can be something that's extremely overwhelming. And over the years, you know, we were tracking everything in spreadsheets on Excel, and that was very difficult. That was very time consuming and often led to, you know, bad data, which, you know, cost us a lot of money. The beauty about where we're at now with technology is, you know, tracking um, what you're doing every day um, can lead into the financial factor that you were just discussing previously and how you're going to move forward with your business. And um, having that accountability, moving through CSU, knowing what you're doing every day, how it's converting, and then going from conversations to appointments to closings, um, you know, it, it's, it's really the, a worthwhile, um, you know, tool to use because I think it encompasses everything that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, and, and the important thing here is that by leveraging some level of technology, you're able to, you know, there's always going to be some level of manual effort when it comes to tracking. But with, with a tool like Sisu, with, with some of the technology uh, that's available, you're able to, you know, take uh, a, a small amount of, of manual effort and, and put it together in a very meaningful way that actually comes together uh, to paint a meaningful picture that, that helps inform your business. Uh, and by leveraging those tools, you essentially, you're, you're bringing the weight of that into, you know, into making it more likely that you get to see the data, that you get to see the meaningful information. Uh, and it, it's such an important thing for actually getting the results from the tracking. All right, and that, that leads us perfectly into, the, uh, into the, the final key factor, which is the concept of, uh, of tech leverage. Uh, so let's talk about that a little bit. So, so Aaron, I know this, is a, this has been an important thing in your business uh, as, as, as you've grown, as your business has grown, uh, to be able to you know, leverage tech in order to amplify your efforts. Uh, so can you talk a little bit about that and what, what that means for your, you know, for, to, to have a successful real estate business? You know, I think um, everybody can sit back and, and look out at how difficult it was to reach people and prospect years ago. I mean, from fax machines um, to picking up keys and going to show a home and then uh, all the, the, the only way to really contact anybody was direct mail in, in, a, in a RJ, right? So with the way technology has went so far so quickly, and it's right at our fingertips to run a Facebook ad or jump in a mojo dialer and call 300 people in an hour or jump into KV Core and send a mass text or a mass email. Um, I mean, it, it's just, it's so much easier for us to reach so many people. It's almost become an issue because we think we, you know, touch all these people, we're going to have an immediate answers and immediate deals, but that's still not the case. You know, it still takes time to nurture and get people in the car and, and close a deal. But I'll tell you right now, you can reach a drastic amount of more people with a bigger impact and, and close more deals just because the industry was disrupted so much by the technology that came in. And out of everything that's changed over the years, I'm glad to see that there was a big emphasis on these CRMs and pulling all this stuff together so that an agent can actually use these tools instead of these big tech companies just doing whatever they need to do. 
This is the, the way we're leveraging technology at our office right now. It's definitely cutting edge. It's not overwhelming. There's so much support and courses and classes and webinars and YouTube videos like where you can sit down and, and focus on how to use that in an impact your business. And I hope I answered the question right because, you know, I have a lot of emotions about where we were and where we are and where we're going just in general with real estate. But I know for a fact the systems that we're utilizing right now don't need to change, don't need to be drastically updated and apply to the principles we were talking about on how to build your business and then control the metrics so you can, uh, you know, basically look back at the analytics and judge where you're going. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the key, one of the key things here, I mean, it is, it's important to understand um, there, there is a balance, right? Uh, where technology is not going to replace many of the aspects of, of, of the traditional real estate business. It, it, it just can't. Too much of the real estate agent's value comes from those relationships, those conversations, the, the more one-to-one -one manual uh, kind, of, kind of aspects. But there's a lot of the, of the process, a lot of the communication, a lot of the, the long-term incubation, a lot of that, that, that stuff that honestly, if you're not leveraging technology, you're behind right? Because you have to just to keep up, you have to, to be able to compete. Uh, one of the, one of the things that I think is, 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 is worth understanding. If, if you look historically, uh, very often there, there are periods of time where we're competing, uh, we're competing co like cultures and competing armies come against each other. And one of the, one of the things that made a massive difference is just what technology those competing armies had available, right? Like there, there's a period of time where the longbow was a drastically better weapon than the, the, the weapons that the opposing side had. And, and if you had the longbow, well, now you're able to, you know, take down your opponent from a distance and they can't touch you. And, and as a result, you know, whole battles are decided just by that one piece of technology. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. We have these disruptors coming into the market. There's tons of money flooding uh, into the real estate world that, that's causing the competition to go up. And you either have to match it or you are the you are the army that has the you know the short bows instead of the long bows, and you're the one that's 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 dealing with the you know the the problem end of that you know of that scenario. So having this technology is is part of how you stay uh, how you stay competitive as the the market landscape changes, and that's part of what's awesome about you know where where you are and what you're offering uh, you know to agents is 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 how you're helping them to to make sure that they are implementing technology that really does. Uh, help them leverage, uh, you know, small, small amounts of activity in order to amplify that and be very powerful to compete with some of these massive companies. And so the, the, the next key idea here is, is about the concept of automating the right things. And, and this will be a really, you know, a really quick concept, but just make sure that, that when you're looking at automation uh, and leveraging technology, that you are, uh, you're working to use technology to let you have more conversations with the right people more often, okay? So that, that's the goal of kind of how you implement and leverage technology uh, is, to, is to key into that aspect. You're not trying to replace conversations, you're trying to create them and potentially filter more of them down to the right people. Does, does, does that concept uh, you know, make sense? Is, is, is that clear to everyone? Aaron, it, am, I, am I covering that concept well, you think, for people? Yeah, absolutely. And I think if, if you're going to look at any way to automate and you're going to have the right conversations with the right people, it's the people that you want to do business with. And right. you really, really have to learn on target marketing, whether right. that be your farm or only sellers or only buyers. Target marketing is a very big key value here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And so, yeah, I mean, so that, 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 that those are the seven key the the seven key factors that that, that we have for you. So again, uh, what those factors are? They're, they're support and mentorship, and we dove into what all that means for you. Uh, we've got culture and environment, cutting edge training, varied lead flow, systematic lead follow up, clear trackable accountability, and tech leverage. So you know it, some fantastic stuff. Uh, what we've just shown you are the key elements that that we've learned that that Aaron has uh, that that over the years discovered. Uh, in order to you know create a successful real estate business, and and I hope in the past hour, uh, would you guys agree that it's been time well spent? If 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 you feel like this has been worthwhile information, uh, if if you gleaned a few ideas, uh, if you could raise your hand or drop a comment, if if uh, if some of these ideas, even if uh, only at a surface level, uh, kind of paint a clearer picture of 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 that overarching plan uh, for being a successful real estate agent. Awesome, awesome, getting lots of hands hands raised. Great, great. Okay, cool, cool. So 
unfortunately, you know, one hour is not enough time to tell you everything you need. Uh, so at this point, you have two options. Option one, you can take everything you learned here today, uh, the keys we gave you, and research how to do it all yourself and try and go it alone. And who knows, if you took good notes and you're a big action taker, you should be able to see success, right? Like, we, Aaron, what we just gave everybody, you didn't have that information at your disposal. You didn't have the, the, the plan in front of you uh, it, it, when you came into this process. So, so with that information, you know, they're at least better off than you were when you started, right? <laughs> Actually, yes, absolutely. I wish I knew a yeah. lot of this stuff a long time ago. I probably still have hair. <laughs> right. Good call. Good call. So, but uh, what we have for you is there's another option, right? There's option two, what we consider the wise choice, uh, where you could shortcut the entire process, get access to the tech, the training, the tool set from an expert, expert who's been there, done that, and got the t-shirt. Uh, so if, if you like help implementing everything that we just talked to you about, uh, we'd be delighted. And so here's, here's what we've set up uh, to help you. So Aaron has built a place for agents unlike anything else in the market. And it's really a fantastic, uh, fantastic scenario that he's put together for you. Uh, it's designed to give you the easy button toward implementing all of these keys to success from an amazing tech stack to trainings and systems unlike anything else offered in the market so that you don't have to go out and do the research. You don't have to go through those trials and tribulations. Uh, you don't have to experience that steep learning curve of going it on your own. And so we wanted to talk to you real quick about the, the Resolution Realty Agent Support Suite. So real quick, this is the, the, the five minute overview is what we're gonna be going through. This is what we're gonna cover real quick. It's, it, you know, what is the key offering, uh, how to get access to these tools and support, uh, next steps uh, depending on your situation. And then we, uh, like I mentioned, we will have time uh, for a Q and A, whether it's about this, uh, the, the content of the webinar or, or the, the Resolution Realty Agent Support Suite uh, itself. Uh, so in terms of, of the, the offering itself, so, all of what, what, what Aaron has put together comes together with these concepts of what he's learned make a, a successful real estate agent. So under support and mentorship, Aaron, you want to real quick dive into some of these, some of these concepts. And, and, and for now, we'll just give it a real surface level um, just to, to, to get through this so that we can get to people's questions. Uh, but we want to let them know what you got for them. Yeah, I mean, after looking back at all the numbers and what it takes and generating leads and doing business and the analytics and needing support and having the right people with the right mindset and the culture, you know, everything packed into what we're doing, you know, how do we make $100,000 in a year? That's always the key question or what everybody jumps into real estate and wants to do. So we package this suite up and it doesn't happen overnight, but we have all of the solutions to put this together and, and coach our agents, train our agents, give them the support either on a one-on-one -on -one level or on a mass level, you know, over at the office. Yeah. Awesome. And, and yeah, you have, you have the apprenticeship program. You have, you have specific infield trainings, direct help. Uh, you've got uh, daily available mentorship, tech and prospecting support, loan and escrow support, all the stuff that we talked about in terms of the mentorship, the support, uh, the camaraderie, everything that, that we talked about, Aaron is as packaged up in a way to be able to systematically offer to you. Uh, in terms of culture and environment, uh, you, you've, you really have. You've created an awesome uh, environment. You've got a really cool office that you guys just recently moved into, uh, as well as a number of things that you guys are doing to really create a fun, uh, energetic, alive experience, right? We, we do. We, we have mastermind groups going with, the, with our teams over there. We have social events every month, you know, dialing for dollars competition on Thursday nights to go through uh, uh, leads and ring a bell and have some pizza and drinks. And then we, you know, we're rewarding all our agents for all their efforts. And, and, and it really is a great environment to be in. And I'm just, uh, I, feel, I feel great about what's happening and I can't thank everybody enough. Yeah. So, so awesome. And in terms of cutting edge training, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to toot my own horn, so to speak, but, uh, uh, you know, we recently partnered up so that, that all of, all of your agents who are coming on to get this full agent support suite, they actually get access to, to my training, the, the real estate growth hackers inner circle, which includes all of the courses that I have, uh, to help agents to generate and convert leads, uh, all of our different marketing systems to help, help you find buyers, sellers, uh, leverage cool technology like like messenger bots uh, to to teach you how to do things like creating a digital business card. Uh, we're, we we have been recently going through uh, some great information, some new stuff that we're working on about open houses and some of how how people can be uh, leveraging open houses today in a mar modern cutting edge way. Uh, but further, you know, it, that that's just the marketing side of it, right? Like like I, I I may just be like the tip of the iceberg in terms of what all you guys are offering for training, right? 
That's right. I mean, we have 15 different calendar calendared events every month, you know, for training. And then with the, uh, you know, real estate growth hackers, Tuesday classes in the training courses that you have. Um, I think it's just the perfect blend. It's not too much. It's not a, just a few things to talk about in real estate. And if we really, you know, put together such a great platform, cut out all the BS and actually go to work. Cause you know me, I don't want to just sit by the water cooler and talk. I'm all about business and helping people and the way we structured everything. I think it's the perfect blend um, for anybody at, in any type of, uh, you know, if you've been in the business for one year or 10 years, you know, we have people that can come in and, you know, sit down and really look at this stuff and, and, and get some, and get some help. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you know, what, what we described in when we were talking about cutting edge training of, of having the information that you need to just know what's working right now, but also having, having those experts, you have, you have, you've brought in those experts and you know, I, I, I'm honored that you count me as one of them in terms of the marketing space, but you have experts, uh, you know, all across the, uh, all across these different fields so that, that you're getting that, you know, the agents that are, that are part of your agent support suite are getting uh, th this help, this training in order to stay, you know, on top of what's going on right now, what's, what's always been working, you know, just like you said, whether they're new or seasoned, there's, there's information uh, that, that'll help any agent get to where they are, you know, from where they are right now to the next level of where they want to be. So there's tons of great stuff there uh, in terms of multiple lead generation tools and support. So this is the concept of, of, of varied uh, lead flow. Like we talked about, uh, you're offering a ton of stuff here. Uh, you you want to, you want to dive into a, a bit about what, what people get access to, uh, you know, with resolution realty, uh, in terms of lead generation. Well, the mega open house system just went to the ultimate mega how, uh, mega open house, <laughs> system, which, which was great. I mean, I think just on, on that tutorial alone that we did and the, and the IMAP for how to build a business around the uh, open house is just extremely valuable. I think you could just focus on that and be extremely successful and, and kick everything else that we said to the curb. But if you want to do it all, you know, you want marketing material, you want to generate leads from those marketing material. We have it so you can put it into a CRM. You know, our database dialer has 80,000 contacts in it. I have over 20,000 leads in another database. And then we have, you know, 50 plus leads we give to our agents to help out that we've generated from spending the money on PPC website, Facebook, and those other farms. So if we give you all the support, we give you all the training and all the technology, you know, that suite right there, along with the real estate growth hackers courses, and obviously your mentorship and training, Zach, I think it's, you know, the full package. Um, and, and I've spent countless hours and, 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 and days and years, you know, focusing on all of this stuff and, and taking a little bit from every brokerage and broker and agent and every tech scenario to put it all in one shop so that, you know, my agents don't have to go anywhere. And if anybody comes over to Resolution Realty, they get offered all this stuff. And, and I just think it's a phenomenal setup that we have over here that I'm really excited to uh, be working in. Yeah, in, in terms of, of what, what your agents have at their disposal uh, to be able to generate the leads, to have, to have those different lead sources so that, because you know, again, there, there's nothing that we could do about it. The market changes. Certain, certain methods stop working as effectively and other methods sort of take over. Uh, there's nothing that we can do about that except to be prepared and be ready to learn new things, uh, have, new, have multiple tools at our disposal so that, so that you don't get swept away by that stuff. Uh, and, and, and having multiple options so that, you know, you have the ability to find that method that works for you. You have the ability uh, to find that, that marketing method that you can get behind, that you could do for six months, uh, you know, without wanting to, uh, to pull your hair out, so to speak. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and put in that consistency. So yeah, what, what your agents have at their disposal is just fantastic when it comes to, uh, you know, lead generation tools and, and the support on how to use them. Uh, you know, and then the next thing, you know, lead follow-up systems, right? We talked about the, the importance of, uh, of systematic lead follow-up. Um, so one of the things that, that I think is really important, uh, you know, Patrick, uh, you had asked about, uh, you know, how, how you sort of, uh, integrate and, and leverage these ideas of, 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 of automated follow-up versus manual stuff. Uh, I actually put together a course that you guys get access to called Ultimate Lead Machine that really dives into what lead follow-up looks like. Uh, so, you know, you have, you have a, you know, the concepts there, the, the, the process um, of, of how you do uh, follow-up with leads and what does it look like to do that? Uh, but not only that, like, Aaron, you're offering a ton of, of technology and trainings and systems uh, to further help that. What, what, what else do, do, are people getting? 
Well, I mean, KV Core, you can sit down there and, and go through the, you know, agent success plans and, and how they set up automated text messages and drip campaigns and then how to leverage, you know, your, your database with the technology inside KV Core. I think that's one of the greatest places um, to, to set up your business. The ultimate lead machine course that you have in Real Estate Growth Hackers by far is the first class anybody should take in the real estate business. Because if you can look at how that automation and how that follow-up is set up, you're gonna know how to convert a contact to a closing and not waste any time with how to build your system in KV Core. So, um, you know, with the way we have a dialer set up, way we have KV Core set up, and then the classes we're looking at with real estate growth hackers, you know, all this stuff starts to come together once you figure out what the system looks like. Then you can get in there and start building it out, and customizing it to yourself. Exactly, exactly. So, so you get, you, you know, you, you're, you're giving people everything that they need. They're, they're getting the, the actual follow-up sequences themselves, the, the emails that can go out, the text messages that can go out the, on your behalf, right? Um, you're getting training on how you convert those sorts of conversations into those manual one-to-one -one conversations when people should be having those manual one-to-one -one conversations versus leveraging the automation. There's just everything that somebody needs from the technology to the training to the actual templates uh, that, that make it all happen and be plug and play. You have available, you, you have there at, at, at your crew's disposal uh, in, in order to implement some of the, the best lead follow-up systems that, that quite honestly, most agents aren't doing in the market. And that's why most agents are, are going to feel uh, you know, the disruption of the technology. They're going to feel uh, the, the pain of, of, of some of these tech companies coming in, into play, but you're positioning people to be prepared for that, uh, which is so fantastic. And then finally, uh, finally, no, this may not be finally. I think this, this is the second to finally uh, in terms of what, you, what, you, what you're offering people, but the tracking and accountability, uh, you, you're offering a ton on this, on this standpoint, both from a, you know, the, the actual person-to-person -person coaching, which we talked about a little bit, uh, but also the software to make it all come together. You want to dive into that a little bit? You know, sitting down with, CISU, with a gent going through CSU and building a business plan, talking about expectations, accountability, and then how to hit your goals. And when you can sit down and measure it the way we are at the office and then applying that into your business um, and having that clear view on how to build it, um, I just think it's a phenomenal tool. And, and CSU didn't even exist until I think it rolled out in late December of last year. And it's, it's just starting to hit the real estate community. And we were one of the first people um, to actually uh, get it in beta and start working with it. And they uh, rolled it out to Resolution Realty because of uh, my relationship with the owner over the last few years, which was great. And I, and I saw how tremendous this type of, um, you know, coaching and accountability tool to, to, to show you the metrics of your business was. And uh, we're just scratching the surface. I think it's a, it's a great way to, for everybody to kind of log in and know exactly how you're going to build your business. And uh, it's catching fire. I think it's actually one of the best... Uh, tools that I've seen come out. And a lot of teams and agents are using it now and having a lot of success with it. Yeah, yeah, and, it, and it's fantastic. And, and, and what's nice is that you guys not only have the technology, but you, you, have, you have the expertise. You guys have been down the road. So you, you know how to look at the data, how to help somebody interpret it, how to, how to set goals, how to, how to hold people accountable to those goals so that they get the results that they need, right? Because it's such an important element. Uh, and, and having that all included as part of what you guys are offering in your agent support suite is just so powerful. Uh, to help people get the results that they need. Uh, so continuing on, you know, to the, to the last uh, main point of the, uh, of the agent support suite itself uh, is the, the, the tech stack that you've put together. It is, it is no joke. It is the best tech stack out of any brokerage that is currently in existence that I have seen, uh, especially we're going to talk a little bit about what the actual cost looks like. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of crazy. I think, uh, I think people need to, <laughs> believe to get in with your company before you, uh, before you get, get wise that you need to be charging more uh, just for the technology itself <laughs> that, that you're offering people. You want, you want to talk about what that tech stack looks like? Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's a one-stop shop, right? right. And, and I'm not going to talk about other brokerages and what they do and don't have. And, you know, I like how you positioned it. We're saying, you know, for the fee that we're charging for people to have all this at their fingertips. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's almost painstaking to think that it's that cheap. 
and you know other places charge sixteen thousand dollar cap fees and and other stuff like that but uh, again but who offers everything that we have in a one-stop shop at resolution realty and and i'm not too sure there are any others and um you know, between the, the lead management, the coaching, the support, and we've talked about it with the CRM and these guys probably heard it a lot already, but above and beyond that, just uploading your transaction in the sky slope, we have that, you know, between, you know, looking for a TC at the office to help you with your transactions. If you don't want to do them because you want to focus on your business, we have that. So, I mean, it's just really, I, I, I'm just, uh, it's, it's great to be able to put all this stuff together. Um, nothing's proprietary. I built this on myself by looking through, uh, you know, all the options that are available for agents and then putting this suite together and say, there's nothing else you can possibly go out and get. I don't want you wasting your own money. I take care of this for you. And I would like, and I do this all because I care and I want you to succeed. Yeah. And, and the key here, I mean, just, I, I, I'd like to, I like to make sure that people understand this. I, uh, I get paid to consult, you know, uh, you know, some of the top teams some of the top brokerages in the country on what kinds of technology that they should use, what, what, kinds of, what kinds of things are really necessary in order to you know, have a successful uh, real estate business. And there is nothing on this list that I would really say, you know, hey, they're like, uh, you're, not, you're not going to the low end of the market. You're not going to the cheap tools just to get by. You have put together some of the best tools that exist in the market to help people with, with their business. These are, these are these are, are they're, they're not just there because they're cheap and you're able to offer them at scale. They're there because they are some of the best tools that exist. And many of them aren't cheap, right? Many of them actually have a fair bit of cost uh, because they're worth it, because they, you know, they're, they're, they're worth what they are. Um, so I, you know, just anybody, anybody who's listening, anybody who's here on this webinar, I, I really want you to understand, you may not know the value of the tools that you have in front of you, but they are, they really are. They are some of the best technology that you can have at your disposal in order to get the results that you want. Uh, and that's coming from somebody who I, I look at the options. Like I'm, I'm, the, I'm the tech geek who fiddles with this stuff just to see what I like. And this is some of my favorite technology that you have uh, at your disposal here. So, you know, kudos to you, uh, Aaron, on, on assembling this stuff. I'm putting it together for your crew. It's a, uh, it, it's a really, you know, it's a powerful thing that I hope people, you know, appreciate in terms of what they have in front of them. Uh, so one, one clear, you know, quick idea. I, I, you know, we're, we, we've been on this call for a little bit, so we, we want to be moving through this pretty quickly. But I, I think it's important to under, you know, for people to understand uh, you know, what you are offering there. You have lots of different paths for people you know, in terms of achieving their real estate goals, depending on the level of commitment that they're, that they're looking to do. Uh, it, I, I would say if, if, if you want to just real quick, like a sentence summary of, of each of these different paths and kind of who they might be for, just so that people understand that. I think that's an important thing. Well, we want to just be able to have... Um... Like it, it boils down to how much time you have to put in your business. And I don't right. want to push away anybody that can't have uh, that. I don't want to push away anybody that doesn't have the time to build their paths and figure out their career. So if you want to put in 10 hours, you know, a week, or if you want to put 40 hours in a week, you know, you can still come to resolution realty and still have success. How much time you're going to put into your career. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, the, the key thing to emphasize here, we won't go through all the details on them, but, you know, no matter what, what your situation is, Aaron has put together a, 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 a path, a concept where you are, you can come in, you could be welcome and you can, you can, from wherever you are, build the real estate business that makes sense for you with the help, with this tech stack, with all these cool tools that, that, that Aaron's put together for you. So uh, that, that, that's the key idea there. Uh, he's got, we, you know, there's some good names for them. There's some, some good ideas. Uh, it's worth diving in and learning a little bit more about that. But uh, I, I think, you know, for, for the purpose of this call, that, uh, that, that, that's probably enough said. Uh, yeah. Now, I, I'm actually, I, I'm, I am going to go through this on your behalf because, again, I, I'm, I'm really excited about what, what people, uh, you know, are getting access to. Um, so we have listed out here uh, some of what, what you're actually getting in the Resolution Realty Agent Support Suite compared to what it costs. Uh, so if you look at some of the, like, the non-recurring costs, you've got post-licensing education, business card, professional design of marketing collateral, uh, printing, open house signs, yard signs, sign installation, lock boxes. These are all things that you as an agent would normally have a cost for. Uh, and that upfront one-time cost would be somewhere around two grand uh, just to get all of these things set up. Uh, just, just, just to essentially get some of the tools that you need uh, to be up and ready to go. 
Uh, you would also have recurring costs. You, you might have office fees. The average is going to be anywhere from 50 to 150 a month. Uh, you would have technology and training that's often in the, in the $200 range. Um, in order to get like a mobile optimized website and CRM, you're going to be looking at anywhere from $100 to $1,200 a month. These tools really range in price. Uh, some of them are incredibly expensive. Even the cheap ones that aren't necessarily are that great uh, still have a cost to them. Uh, you, you, you know, it, to get the one-on-one -on -one coaching, again, we talked about how important that is for your success to get that coaching, that mentorship, you know, uh, you know, Aaron, you mentioned that uh, in terms of like what it potentially costs to work with somebody like Tom Ferry. I think, I think we're not even up, up at the high end of what this could be. Uh, and we gave it a decent range from 400 to a thousand bucks. Uh, you have the mojo dialer, which if you were right now, if you were going to go out and buy the mojo dialer for yourself, it costs $150 to get the same level of access that Aaron is, is making available to you. Uh, to get access to CSU, uh, an, an agent's license for that costs $100 a month. That's what the commitment is. They don't show it on their website. Uh, they, they want you to inquire about it because it tends to be a, a, a commitment that they want people to do, but that's what it is. Uh, sky slope, it costs 25 bucks a month, uh, which, you know, it, it's not the biggest cost, but Hey, when I tell you what you actually have to pay, uh, you, you know, it's going to be, uh, uh, comparatively better. Um, and then, it, you know, the real estate growth hackers inner circle, this is a membership that I legitimately, I, I have people who are in the inner circle, uh, in my company that are, that are paying $300 a month in order to have access to my library of, of courses, the training, the, the coaching calls that we go through, uh, to help with your, with your marketing. And so I have people actively doing that. So the, the total cost of all these things, if you were to go out and do it by yourself, uh, is anywhere from 3000 to about five grand. Okay. And that, that, that's a combination of recurring costs and upfront costs. Let, let's compare that to the, uh, to the resolution and realty costs. Okay. So your upfront costs, uh, yeah, $0. Okay. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, office fees, zero. You don't have an office fee right? You, what you do have is you have a training, a technology and training membership fee. That's 150 bucks. That gets you access to all of these other things, the mobile website, one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, the mobile dialer or the mojo dialer, CSU, Skyslope, and, and real estate growth hackers inner circle. I, again, I, I currently sell this for $300 a month to, uh, to, to people in the market uh, and, and have people love the thing, the value that they're getting out of it for that. Uh, and you guys are getting all this stuff for 150 bucks. Like it's, this is a crazy, insane deal. Even, even if you just look at the technology alone and don't account for anything else, you're still getting a better deal. Even if you were just paying for the technology, just for the technology by itself, you're getting a fantastic deal compared to what it would cost you to get this on your own. So, uh, you know, what is it worth? Well, it's worth about five grand. What does it cost you? It costs you about 150 bucks. Uh, if, if that isn't a, if that isn't a good deal, I don't know what is. <laughs> so, you know, good on you. Aaron, for, for being able to, you know, put together these tools. And I, I know, like you mentioned, what you, what you want is you want for people to like get results. So you tried to put together the stack of what's necessary at a cost that is reasonable in order to, you know, in order to be able to offer this to people. Uh, and, and it's just, it's, it's fantastic. So I commend you on that. Well, I appreciate it a lot. And, it, and it, that's the value that I want to bring to my agents and, and I want them to see that for themselves. You know, and, I'm, and that's a great way to, you know, put the numbers in front of people because I don't walk around saying, hey, this is how much it costs and this is what you're getting. It, it, that's not how we operate at our company. And, but it's, it's good to put the eyes on it and show it like that, Zach. I appreciate it. Is that, exactly. And part of one of the things that, uh, you know, coming back to the slide real quick, part of why this is possible, um, it, it, you know, you, you might ask yourself, well, how are you able to offer it for, for so cheap? Well, one of the big things that, that, that the power of working with somebody like Aaron uh, brings to bear is that, you know, as a bigger company with multiple agents that has track record, that has success, for one thing, they're able to secure better deals with these companies than you could by yourself. Okay. So that, that, that's one of the things. So they're able to be able to bring this technology stack together at a, at a cost that still works for them, uh, it, you know, in a way that, that makes it cheaper for you. Uh, similarly, some of these things, some of these costs, the, the, the signs, the business cards, the, uh, the lock boxes, the, the company is already assembled. So they already have those costs taken care of and you get to just piggyback off of those, those expenses that, that have already happened. So that's, that's why you're able to get access to some of these things at, at such a great rate because you're partnering with a company that, that has the, uh, you know, that, that has the track record that has already built up some of this, some of this collateral, some of these things that are necessary uh, and you get access to them uh, in, in order to, uh, you know, be able to leverage that for your business. So that, that, that's kind of, I think it's important. Sometimes it's worthwhile to understand the why uh, of those differences. Um, it just so that it, you know, it makes sense for why you're getting such a great deal.
Um, so, so in terms of next steps, uh, there's, a, there's a number of different people that might be on this call that might be listening to this, uh, whether now or in the future. Uh, if you're considering brokerages or open to a conversation about Resolution Realty, uh, the best next step for you is to reach out uh, to schedule a conversation about what Resolution Realty has to offer and to see if the agent support suite is a good fit for your needs. Uh, you can reach out to Aaron. The, the, the email's here up on the screen. And I'm actually, I'm going to drop that into the, uh, into the chat as well. So that's Aaron at Resolution Realty LV dot com here we go i think i got that aaron if i if i got that if i spelled that wrong or whatnot if you just want to double check that for me i don't know if you can see it i think i got it but I, just in case it's on the screen but it's also in the chat um the, you know so if, if anybody is is considering brokerages you should you know definitely give aaron the chance uh reach out to him have a conversation and see if see if what they're up to is good fit for you um if if oops where we go? There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I, if, if you're a legacy resolution realty, if, if you've been around uh, with resolution for a while uh, and, and you're curious about how you can get access to some of these tools and the support, this is a new, a new set of stuff that Aaron has put together uh, in order to help you. Uh, and he wants to help you. He wants to make that stuff available to you. Um, in order to figure out how to get access to that, you, you need to connect with Aaron, right? In, in order to uh, uh, see how you can get access, how you can leverage these tools. Uh, so reach out to Aaron for that as well. Uh, if you happen to be a legacy real estate agent and you don't currently have access to these tools. And then finally, if, if you are, if you are a new resolution realty agent, if you've come onto the team recently, uh, and, and it, it, you know, what, like within the past month or so, I guess, right, Aaron, um, th these tools have been available for the, for the newer agents, uh, really uh, your, your, your next best steps, uh, you can reach out to Aaron to make sure that you're leveraging everything that you have at your disposal. Um, you want to make sure you get involved in the, uh, in the groups that are available. You want to get involved in the inner circle in order to maximize that and, uh, uh, uh you know, take full advantage of, of everything that's at your disposal. Uh, but those are, those are kind of the, uh, you know, the, 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 the next steps, uh, for you. And, uh, yeah, I, th I think that pretty much covers it. Is there, is there, is there anybody that I'm missing Aaron that, uh, that, that we need to make sure, uh, to tell them kind of what they should do next. No, that's great, Zach. I think we covered everything for um, who we can present this to and why and how, and we can get into a little Q&A and see if anybody has some questions. Awesome. Awesome. Fa sounds good. I'm not sure if anyone's going to cut at the bottom on my end. Yeah, so are, are you guys, just to make sure, are you guys able to see, uh, see the, the, the email for Aaron? If you can see the email address, just to let us know that, uh, uh, that you guys are seeing what we're seeing. Uh, if you can raise your hand, just so that we know that, that that's at least coming through. Uh, and then we'll take, we'll take this chance to uh, go ahead and start answering some of these questions uh, as well. So Linda, Linda had a question about, uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, so Linda Eden, to be clear, because we have two Lindas on the call. Uh, but Linda Eden had a question about ways around iBuyers uh, Redfin. Uh, can we advise seller and buyer rebates off to pay for home buyer inspection or in their business? So it, it sounds like this is, this is kind of a tactical question of, of how do you deal uh, with, with some of these other competing companies? Um, and and uh, so I don't know if you want to want to add some thoughts to that. Well, I think offering incentives, you certainly can do that because that's what all these other companies are doing. Um, Red, Redfin definitely participates in the rebate sector. Um, if you're trying to, if you go on a listing appointment, um, there's a good chance that, you know, there's going to be an offer there from Zillow or OfferPad. So, you know, how do you get around that? Well, you should know the ins and outs of those companies, which I can train you up on. Um, also, we have our own iBuyer. So you can go to a listing appointment with an offer in hand and still get paid a commission, or you can go uh, and list their home. So there's there's a few different ways to navigate around the iBuyers and uh, leverage it. Um, all, one of the big things I, I think that agents should be doing is, you know, grabbing a farm. Uh, we have an investor farm. I think there's about 15,000 contacts in Mojo and say, hey, you know, if, if you're thinking about selling your home, I can give you a cash as is offer on the property right now. Um, if that doesn't work out and doesn't fit your needs as far as what you want to net, you know, maybe I, I can go ahead and list your home and uh, give you some moving expenses uh, to, to help you along the way. So there's definitely ways around it. Um, I think target marketing, coming up with a good message and knowing what you're up against. And we can definitely sit, on, uh, sit down and do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, meeting on exactly how to uh, go about that. And I can fill you in on exactly what these, uh, these hedge funds iBuyers are doing and, and, how, and where they're going and, and what they're trying to do with their market, um, with the market conditions out here and how they're building their business. Yeah, absolutely. And that, and that was one of the things that I was just going to, I was going to um, emphasize as well is uh, 
you know, Aaron, you're going to be able to give uh, great answers uh, kind of as a general thing. Um, but one of the most, most important things is, you know, what are the specific questions you're getting? What are the, sp the, the specific objections you're getting? Uh, and then having, you know, whether it's Aaron or at the, uh, um, you know, at, 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 at Resolution Realty there, the people that you can role play with, that you can, that you can navigate through those questions and get the support that you need, the one-on-one, -on -one, the direct uh, sort of help. That's going to be um, one of the best ways to really deal with those problems in the long run, right? Absolutely crucial. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to mark this one as done. Uh, so Patrick asked uh, when a uh, question period comes up. So he's talking about now. Uh, I'm interested in defining how to set up automation versus manual follow-up. Uh, I think a good system must have both arguments. Uh, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take this one to start. This is kind of my, uh, my field here, right, Aaron. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll dive into this one for you. Yeah, um, sure. So we, we, we talked about this a little bit, Patrick. Uh, what I would re really recommend is that you, uh, and here, I'm going to click this answer live button. Uh, what I'd really recommend is that you, uh, you check out the ultimate lead machine course that, uh, that, that you're going to get access to, uh, you know, it, uh, Aaron, you can let me know is, is Patrick, it's a uh, Patrick Thomas. Is he, is he currently an agent that has access to this? He does. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So, so yeah, Patrick, you'll, you'll be able to, um, get access, you know, get into ultimate lead machine. Uh, you'll be able to get in there. That's going to be a great place to start to sort of see the overarching ideas of how you do uh, lead follow-up in general. Uh, but, and then in the inner circle, you have access to uh, follow-up sequences for buyers, for sellers, uh, and, and, and the concepts around those. So you can, you can see uh, the, the sequences that I've put together for you um, that, that help you to uh, uh, move somebody from the qualify stage uh, into you know, knowing what's going on with them, either in, in what I call the, uh, the pressure cooker, which is the people that are like hot and active and ready to go right now, uh, or, or you know, how those conversations look in the, in the uh, long-term uh, slow cooker, I call it, where these are you more long-term people, um, and, and you have those systems at, at your disposal in there. Um, really, that, that's what I'd say is your, your best place to start is ultimately machine for sure. All right, cool. And and right now, that seems to be that seems to be the only uh, the only questions that we have. If there are any other questions, guys, go ahead and uh, uh, get those in. Uh, I, I think we we've got at least a little bit more time for you, right, Aaron? I don't know if you've got any any place that you need to be jumping off to. Um, but, uh, I think we got a little bit more time. If you guys have any more questions, we are, uh, we are happy to, to answer those for you. Um, shoot, you know, there, there was something else that I, that I was thinking as we were going through this, that, uh, yeah, it's probably going to come to me later, unfortunately, but, uh, there, there was, a, there was another group that I was feeling like, uh, we might be able to, uh, sort of call attention to what, what they should do, um, and, and, and how they can get results. But uh, it's kind of, it's kind of slipped my mind now. <laughs> but uh you know I'm, I'm probably gonna remember it later <laughs> yeah, well first thing we, as soon as we shut down the webinar but it, it's been a long day I'm, I'm sure that's part of the reason absolutely absolutely <laughs> all but right cool yeah i never sleep so um yeah we're we'll, we'll <laughs> definitely pick it up in one of our courses and then uh i definitely want to go over uh some of that lead follow-up in the ultimate lead machine um you know on one of our tuesday coaching calls and Definitely invite Patrick in for that one. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And yeah, I, I mean, this is a, a, so again, it looks like I may have somebody who had just hopped on. Uh, so if, 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 you're just, if you're just hopping in and you're kind of coming in here at the end of this now, um, feel free. Uh, we're gonna have a, a replay going out. I definitely recommend checking it out uh, and getting this, this content that we, that we put together for you. Uh, any, anyone else as we're, as we're getting toward the end here, uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to put those into the Q and a, uh, we'll, we'll take a, a couple of more minutes, wait for those, uh, those questions to come in. Uh, but otherwise, you know, Hey guys, as, as you're, you know, everybody that we still have active on here, hopefully, uh, you know, if, if you found this information useful, uh, if you had, uh, uh, you know, maybe a couple of light bulb moments, I'd, I'd love to hear from you maybe in the chat. Uh, what's one, what's, you know, I, I, I asked right at the beginning, what, you know, you, you committed to take, uh, at least one key idea that you're going to take and implement. Uh, I'd love to hear from, from you guys in the chat. Uh, what's the, what's the thing that stood out most to you, uh, that, that, that you are going to use in the next 30 days, uh, in order to get better results with in, in your real estate business to start, um, building up this, this stack of, of ideas and concepts that, uh, that are going to take you to that next level. So, uh, go ahead and put that into the chat for me and let me know what, uh, what do you, what are you guys going to work on as a result of, uh, as a result of this webinar? Uh, and, and, and yeah, otherwise, I mean, again, Aaron, I, uh, I really commend you this, uh, this, this system, this, this set of tools that you've made available to everybody is just super powerful. 
uh, <laughs> really, you know, somebody working with you, um, they're, they're, they're getting the cost. That makes a ton of sense. They're getting the tools that they need to, to have success. They're getting the training. They're getting the support. They have the environment. Really, the, at, at this point, the thing that's left is just the action, right? Like people got to get in and use it and, and, and really building out their business, right? <laughs> like that's all that's left for them. It, it really is. Like at the end of the day, I, I want to have everything at your fingertips, a one-stop shop, everything that you need. But you have to get up and you have to put in the effort. And, and that's... Right. That's the hardest thing. And, and, and I've been saying that and teaching that for a long, long time. Accounting to the same type of, uh, you know, metrics where I wake up, I work hard, I do it often, I take breaks when needed. But if you have a great system and I have everything in place for the agent, it's, you just have to put in the effort and you'll be successful. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, uh, Linda did chime in and gave us a, a what she's going to be working on. I think it's a, a fantastic set of stuff to be working on. She's going to do uh, open house events. Uh, she's looking at Facebook advertising to build her brand and, and she's going to be working on her follow-up in KV core. So it's a fantastic set of things to be working on some, uh, some really key ideas, um, you know, to take from this and, and, and implement for sure. That's awesome. I, lo I love how Linda, you know, she's been building out her open houses week over week, month over month, and they're just getting better every time. Yeah. Yeah. And I, th I think if I recall, it was, it was, it w w was it, was it Linda that had the, uh, um, really dove into that, the, one of the concepts that we talked about in the ultimate, uh, ultimate open houses of, of really making it an event, right? It, I, I, I think that's right. Uh, we're, we're Linda. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's raising her hand. Yep. Um, you know, kudos again to you, Linda on that, uh, of, of, of you know making the the open house a bit more by leveraging you know the upcoming halloween uh holiday in order to uh make your open house something more than just an open house uh you know i, I think that's really going to help you to uh, see better results to get more people there uh, to start building those relationships so it's a uh, it's fantastic and again uh you know any anybody that uh that, that's that's watching this or maybe watching the replay if you want access to tools like that if you want access to uh you know the the, the training that that linda's now using to implement in order to, you know, up her, her open house game, uh, you know, make sure reach out to Aaron and find out if resolution realty is a, is a good fit, uh, for what you're needing to do, what you're looking to do. If you're a legacy agent, make sure that you, that you reach out to find out, uh, how you can, um, uh, you know, how you could ac get access to this, the support suite. And if you're, if you're a new agent, just make sure that you're, that you're staying active, that you're diving into the stuff and you're putting it, putting it into use. All right, cool. Any, uh, any final thoughts before I, I'm not seeing any more questions come in. So any, any final thoughts before we hop off, Aaron? No, thank you everybody for your time. I hope you uh, learned a lot here and I'm excited to, uh, you know, continue this journey to, uh, in our real estate business. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And th thanks for having me. I'm, uh, I, you know, I was excited to, uh, to, to get to uh, kind of communicate some of the value that, uh, uh, that, that, that you have, have brought to the table for, for your crew here. So I hope, I hope that became clear. I hope we were able to help some people in the process and, uh, and yeah, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll catch you on the, uh, on the next time. Hopefully, um, you know, hopefully you guys take action and get in and, and I'll see you in some of the, uh, the inner circle, uh, trainings and, and in some of those courses there, uh, either way, I wish everyone the, uh, the, the best of success. And I know Aaron does as well. Uh, so otherwise I think we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and call it a wrap and, uh, and, and, and move, move on to our evening. <laughs> All right. Take care. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate you. Yeah, you got it. You got it. All right. And here we go. Everyone, you have a good one.